Welcome back to Rachel's Fit Pilates. We are going to start standing today with some exercises that we do typically on the reformer. No equipment is required, but if you want to grab a set of dumbbells, you're welcome to do so. You can place your hand on the wall for balance, or you can hold your hands by your hips. We're going to start with our legs together and go through a warm up. So we're just going to bend the knees and come back up for 10. So lowering down at a comfortable range and coming back up, you can keep these a little less range because we'll be doing it a second time through and trying to go deeper into the squat. So these are all exercises that we do on the reformer. It's called reformer footwork and it's going to work through different positions of the foot, really feel a lot through the leg and the glutes. So these are great exercises to do standing. Now we're going to lift up on the ball of the foot and come back down. So we're just lifting the heels. Come back down. Remember, at any time, if you're close to that wall, you can always hold it for balance. Okay, we have one more. And come back down. Now we're going to sit back on the heels. So you can slightly pick up those toes so that you have more of the weight into the heels. We're gonna come up and down like this. This is true for both Pilates and weightlifting. When we sit more into the heels, we will be using the glutes more. And if it's a bit more into the toes, you'll feel it through the quads more. Okay, the next one is a little more tricky with balance. So you can place one hand or two hands on the wall if you need to. We're gonna squat down, lift the heels, come up and come back down. We'll go five one way and then five the other way. Let's reverse. So up, lower, drop the heels and come back up. And again, up, lower, heels and up. I find this quite challenging on the quads. It's great exercise for the muscles above the knee and great ankle mobility work. Okay, now let's go into second position. So legs are hip distance apart. We're going to squat down and come back up. So for this, our toes are pointed forward. They are in parallel or they look like an 11 and then we'll do it turned out. And remember, just go down as low as is comfortable. This is just the warm up. We will have a second chance to do this and we'll try to go lower next time. Now we'll turn the legs out and we'll go up and down like this for 10. So down and lift. Each time you lift, try to squeeze those glutes at the top of the movement. So when your legs are straight, Okay, so now we're gonna go into the exercises. You can have your feet either touching right next to each other or have just a little bit of space. And we're gonna go down and come back up. And we'll do that for 10. Let's lift the heels. So heels come up, we are on the balls of the feet and we come back down. As I come up, I'm trying to squeeze my calves when we're on the balls of the feet. Last one. Now sit back into the heels, slightly lift those toes up and we'll go for 10. Now for any of these exercises, you can always separate your legs more if you feel that it's uncomfortable to flex as much in your knees. All right, so now we're gonna go into lifting the heels up. So you can hold for balance if you need to. Let's squat, lift the heels, come up, come back down. We're gonna do this for 10. What helps me the most with balance here is trying to keep my abs drawn in. 
to create tension and feel more stability as I'm changing positions with the feet. Last three, can you challenge yourself and take your arms off? Let's reverse. So we're gonna lift the heels up first, lower down, and then drop the heels. To me, this way is harder because lowering down with heels up really puts a lot on the knees and the quads, which is good for strengthening as long as it's within a comfortable range. Last three, you can take your hand off if you like. Great, let's go to second position. So we're gonna put our feet wider apart, still in parallel. We're gonna squat down and then come back up for 10. Okay, last one, we're gonna stay down, hold onto the wall if you need to. We're gonna lift the heels and come back up. So up and down for 10 like this. Try to stay into that squat and you're just simply lifting those heels up. One more. Now we're gonna separate the legs, turn them out so the toes are pointed out and we're gonna squat up and down like that. Remember, each time we come up, you want to really squeeze those glutes and then lower back down. Now stay down, hold onto the wall if you need to, lift up and come back down. Trying to be really upright in the upper body so they're not leaning against the wall. Good, try to stay down for three and two and one. All right, let's come back up. Whew, I felt that in the quads and definitely feel it the next day. Okay, let's come down. So we're gonna go into a little warm up for the arms and abs and then go into exercises for that there. So we'll start with imprint and release so you can place your hands on your hips if you like. We're gonna rock that low back getting it closer to the mat and then coming back to a neutral spine a neutral spine just means returning to that original starting position where you have that natural curve in your low back. Good, let's try to imprint one more time. Okay, now we're gonna put the arms to the side, lift the legs up into tabletop, let's tap the toes for 10. Now for any of these exercises, if you feel it into your low back, you can keep that imprinted position where you keep that lower back closer to the ground. That'll help you keep your abs more engaged and not feel it into the low back as much. All right, two more. Now we're gonna extend the legs. So extend one leg out and return, and then the other and return. If this feels like too much, you can just simply do a second set of the toe taps. Great, let's place the legs down. From here, we're gonna go into hip rolls. So take a breath in. Exhale and roll up onto the shoulder blades and then roll down. We'll do this three times. So again, rolling up and roll back down. And then last one, rolling through that spine, coming up and then roll back down. Good, from here we're gonna bridge up and then we're gonna drop the hips and then bring them back up for 10. So we can just lower them hovering over the ground. You don't have to come all the way to the ground. And then as you come up, really squeeze those glutes. Last one. And you can lower to the ground. From here, we'll go into some ab work. So we will be placing the legs into tabletop and then doing ab prep. So that's where we flex up, reaching those arms and come back down. You can always use your arms to hold your head if you need to. And if the tabletop legs are uncomfortable, you could also keep the legs down for this. 
This is the beauty of Pilates. We will get you to do ab work any way that we can. Great, we'll do one more. Now you can bring the feet down. Take a quick break and legs back up. Now we're gonna add on. So we're gonna flex up, extend the legs, bring them back and then head comes down. Here is an alternate version where you support your head and legs are higher up. So your choice. So let's flex up, extend back to tabletop and lower. We'll repeat for 10. Great, you have one left. And lower that head, bring those legs down. Let's go up into a bridge. And you can try to extend a little bit more so that that stomach can really feel that stretch through the abs. Let's add on. So we're gonna flex up again. Legs extend, open, close. Legs return to tabletop. I'm gonna stay flexed up this whole time. You can have your hands support your head if you need to. Good, so let's go for 10. And if this is uncomfortable, you can point your legs higher up towards the ceiling like I showed in the modification. So what's great about staying flexed up the whole time is that we're working on the endurance of the ab muscles. So they gotta stay contracted this whole time. Okay, we got one left. Great, okay, bring the head down, bring the legs down. We will bridge up. You can feel that nice stretch through the hip flexors. And then we can come back down. Good, so just take a few breaths here. We'll be bringing the legs back to tabletop. This move is a little bit easier. So we're gonna flex up, bring one leg out, then the other leg out, and come back, I'm trying to stay flexed up the whole time. We'll go five each leg. So really try to feel the length through that leg. The lower you go, the harder it's gonna be. So try to stay flexed up, go as low as you like within a comfortable range. Last ones. Okay, bring that head down, feet come down, great job. Bridge up again, feel that nice stretch. Take a few breaths and let's move on. So let's come to a seated position. We are going to either kneel for this. If kneeling is uncomfortable, you can always stand. These are arm exercises. So if you wanna grab a set of dumbbells, you're welcome to do so for this. So starting first with a front raise, we're gonna lift up, lower back down, and we'll do that for 10. Through all these exercises, try to stay super stable and not swinging as we move the arms. Great, let's go into a bicep curl. So turn the palms. You're going to bend the elbows, squeeze that bicep at the top, lower back down. We'll do that for 10. Excellent, last one. Okay, now we're gonna do a side shoulder exercise. So you're gonna bring your arms in a 90 degree angle. You're gonna lift up so the elbow's as high as the shoulder and then come back down. For this one, I try to squeeze the shoulder right here and then lower back.
Great, the next one we're gonna do is offering. So scoot away from the wall if you need to. You need a little space here. Palms are up, elbows bent. We're gonna lift up, come out to the side, back in front, lower down, same height as the shoulders, and we'll do that for 10. We've got two more. Keep those arms lifted. As we get tired, we might want to keep them a little lower. Great, okay, bring the arms down. From here, we're gonna lie back down and we'll go into some bridging. So let's start lying on our backs. Legs are hip distance apart, feet are flat on the mat. Let's bridge up. Now you're gonna lift one heel, drop it. Other heel, drop it. We'll alternate back and forth. We'll go five on each side. Now for all these bridging exercises, we want to stay lifted and level in the pelvis. Last one. Okay, bring the hips down. We'll come down to rest, take a few breaths. The next one, we're gonna make it more challenging. So we're gonna bridge back up. Now we're gonna peel one foot off, try to fully come off the floor and then the other one. You wanna do this with the hip bones level, so if it causes them to drop, then just simply lift the heels for this one. Okay, great, let's come back down. Just take a few moments to rest here. The next one we're gonna do is shoulder bridge. So another great single leg exercise. Let's bridge up, point that leg towards the ceiling. You're gonna lower and lift. So let's go for 10. Now, if you like, you can flex the foot coming down, point coming up. But if you're new to this, just focus on lower and lifting the leg. Last one, let's put that foot down. We can come down in between. A few moments to rest here, that's a lot on the glutes. Okay, other leg, point it up. We're gonna lower, so we lower to the height of the knee and then lift. Last one, great, let's put that foot down, come back down, you can bring your knees in and then wrap your arms around, feel that nice stretch through the low back. Just take a few moments here. Bring the legs back out, we just have one more exercise. We're gonna bridge up, you can either have your leg up towards the ceiling or in tabletop for this. So I'll show you with the leg up, we're gonna drop the hips and come back up, we'll do that for 10. Leg comes down, let's go to the other side. Happily, <laughs> let's go up and down. So really try to feel that length through the foot. So almost as if you're trying to reach your toe towards the ceiling, that will help you really contract the glute on the other side to fully come up. Okay, let's bring the leg down. Now we are going to sit up and work into some side work. So good work for the obliques here. So you're gonna stack the knees right on top of each other. The hand is in the same line as the knees. Other hand on the hip, we're going to come up and then bring those hips back down. And we'll do that for six on each side. So lift up and come back down. 
Now this can be challenging. You wanna place your hand so that as you come up, your shoulder is right on top of that hand. So you may need to play around with it, but it is well worth it because it is a great oblique exercise. Good, let's come down. Now we're gonna do a second set, but making it more challenging. So either do the first one again or do this version. So for this one, we're gonna come up and stay. Arms gonna be by the side. We're gonna lift up to shoulder height and lower. And we'll lift for 10. So lifting the arm up and lower back down. Trying to stay super stable and steady here. That is the work, the isometric work here. Just do as many as you can and then you can take a break. We'll go to the other side after this. Great, bring that arm down and let's go to the other side. So stacking those legs right on top of each other and then hand reaching away, in line with the knees, other hand on the hip, let's lift up, come back down. You can adjust your hand if you need to. We'll go for six. Okay, let's go to the next exercise. So for this one, we're gonna stay up and then arm down by our side, lifting up to the same height as the shoulder, come back down. So this exercise is a variation of an exercise called star prep on the reformer. So doing it on the ground like this is a great way to build strength in the same muscles. Good, really try to stay lifted here. As we fatigue, we want to kind of sink down. So I made that little correction. Okay. Excellent, let's come back down. From here, let's head towards the wall. And we're gonna do a narrow push-up. So this really works the back of the arms. I'm showing kneeling, but you could stand as well. Hands are shoulder width apart. We're going to keep those elbows pointed down as we bring the body closer, bending the elbows, push back up. If that feels too easy, lower your hands and try it like that. Let's go for 10. So keep the abs drawn here. Try to be one nice long line as you lower and lift. Good, we have two more. And last one. Great, we're gonna go into one arm. So I'll show you that. So place the hand in the middle, lower and lift. You might not come as close to the wall, but that's okay. We'll do 10 on each side. This is just to train unilaterally. So giving each arm a chance to work on its own. If you find it's hard to lower yourself and push back up, bring your hand higher up on the wall or point your elbow towards the side rather than towards the floor. Let's switch sides. So other hand goes in the middle. We're gonna bring that body closer as we bend that elbow, point it towards the floor and then come back up. Last one. Okay, great, let's go into some stretching. This is a great routine you could repeat again to see if you've improved in strength, right? So let's bring one arm over the other and you can hook the other arm to deepen that stretch into the shoulder. You don't have to sit like I'm sitting, you could always have your legs out in front of you if that's more comfortable. Switch arms, so let's bring the other arm across and then hook with the opposite arm and then we'll hold here. Good. 
you can let that arm go. Now we're gonna take both arms, extend them up towards the ceiling, and then you can arch through the back so you feel that extension through the back. Good stretching for the ab muscles, which we did quite a bit with today. Great, let's bring the arms down. Now we're gonna lie on our backs and stretch into the low back. So we're gonna have our feet together and then we'll be dropping the knees to one side. And then try to keep both of those shoulder blades on the ground so that you can feel that nice rotation and we'll hold here. And let's switch sides. So bring the knees to center and then let's drop them the other way and then hold. Now bring the legs back to center, draw the knees in, wrap your arms around your knees, and rock back and forth. Great, from here let's sit up, we'll go into a cat stretch. So we're gonna go on our hands and knees in a quadruped position. So hands are underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips. You're gonna take a breath in, exhale as you flex through that spine. Really draw those abs in. We have a nice round curve in the spine. And then we'll do the opposite. So extending through the spine, let that stomach hang so that you feel that stretch through the abs. And let's do that again two more times. So let's arch in the back, draw the abs up. Holding here. And then again, extend through the spine, drop the stomach. Draw the abs in as we exhale here. Come back into that extension. Good. You can sit back on your knees and you're all set. Thank you so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the workout and I look forward to you joining me again.